Hey guys, my name is Chris if you didn't already know and welcome to one of my random videos. And I thought for this video I wanted to do something I've already done before, hence the title Spam Emails 2. Yes, I've done this before and I had a good time doing it so I thought why not do another? Especially since I've got a big collection of them sat on my laptop right there waiting for me to read them out. The thing is I compiled the list months and months ago so I have absolutely no idea what's on there. Okay, maybe I've got a vague tiny teeny weeny idea but anyway let's get on with it they're not in any particular order at all so I think I'll go backwards though considering the first one was sent to me on the 2nd of October 2019 what and I'm just thinking maybe I should put the laptop on something where I can read it and not drop it in case I start laughing which could happen Okay, this worked the last time I tried it. I'm trying to think what video that was though. I think it was which Spider-Man villain are you or something like that. Stool on top of this table here. Knowing me, I'll end up knocking it off. Let me just put it a bit further away from me, but still in shot. There we go. Okay, just before I get started, I'm noticing that <laughs> as you read along, it runs out of space and doesn't finish it off. And I'm not going to click on the email to read it, so I'll only read so much of it. But already I'm noticing the first one. Ay ay ay. Anti-aging breakthrough. Ooh. Instant youth, uncensored before and after photos. There's a new skincare trick that women and men... And then it just stops there. <laughs> yeah, I don't care if they're uncensored or not. I don't want to see them. Because I know it's a load of hokum. Bitcoin code. How to really get rich from bitcoins. I don't think so. I get these emails quite often and I still, to this day, have no clue what a Bitcoin is. I most certainly don't own any. Is it them coins from Super Mario Brothers? Fungus Eliminator. Watch, this woman cured her toenail fungus this simple trick. Do I mean with this simple trick? You can tell that's a spam email with the grammar and I really don't want to see it. Best deals of what? Play with Aldi and win free groceries. We pay your groceries worth 500 pounds. What's it want me to play with Aldi with? You know, like Monopoly? Chess? What? That one's a popular one as well. You get it with Morrison's and Asda and all the others. Again, a load of hokum. Cleaning products. Ooh. Try the latest dishwashing pods. Slight problem with that. I don't own a dishwasher. And that's probably why it's in my spam email. Chocolate deal. Receive free samples of the tastiest chocolate. Can't see the images? Click show block content to yeah, I don't need to read any more than that because quite clearly that's spam too. It's probably got a link that you've got to click on and then it'll take you somewhere where you don't want to go and then you'll start having all these pop-ups. No, thank you. Diabetes Destroyer. Sounds like a superhero. Doctors can't explain why this fruit cuts blood sugar by 90%. Definite hokum. This one says, Alexandra. Huh? With me, you can feel like a horse race. What? With me, you can feel like a horse race. I think that's the wrong way around. Shouldn't she have written race horse? I'm 23 years old and want you to become my god. I'm surprised she hadn't done that wrong way around and put dog. Yeah, moving on. Oh, I used to get this one all the time. Medium Amanda. An important message about your future. I saw you in a vision. You are intelligent, kind and always willing to blah, 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 blah. If she saw me in a vision, then surely she saw me put her email into my spam box and that I wasn't going to reply, ever. Hydra lift. It's got like little crown symbols around the word. Don't stick 192 needles in your face to prevent aging. Oh, and I was just gonna do that tomorrow. Why would I stick 192 needles in my face? I don't like needles. So Hydra lift, don't worry. I'm not gonna do that. Lloyd's commercial banking. New notification. Dear Lloyd's link customer. During our regular schedule, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, there's a slight, teeny, tiny, wincy little problem with this. I don't have a Lloyds bank account. I never have, ever. Quite clearly spam. And you have to watch for those type of emails. They like to do it with any bank, with any customer, where sometimes they'll say to you, someone's tried to get into your account on this computer, in this town, or in this country. It's a load of rubbish. Don't ever, ever fall for it, ever. A load of hokum. Okay, I'm not going to show much of this next one because it actually comes with a rude image. I don't know why. I've not clicked on it. 
even though it's got a link on it. Apparently, if I touched, I've touched that, haven't I? Oops. Alexandra Pier, in a fit of passion, I hope that on this beautiful summer day, you are in a good mood. Yeah, okay, let me point something out. This was sent to me on the 27th of October, 2019. You know, at the end of autumn leading into winter, it's not a summer day. And how's that in a fit of passion? Local dating from Sydney. And yet, as it goes on, it says Elizabeth. So I'm assuming Sydney is in the city, in Australia, on the other side of the world. Yep, who can? This one I get now and then, and it makes me laugh. Netflix, read daily email report document, and the spelt document with two M's. Statement confirmation to update the bill information on blah, 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 blah. Every now and then I get something from Netflix saying, oh, you've not paid this bill or you need to redo your bank details. There's a slight problem with it. Teeny, tiny, little, wincy problem. I don't have Netflix. Never have. That's why I know it's spam. Turmeric. Knuckle. Four free bottles of turmeric for me, supplies limited. What on earth is turmeric? Let me Google that. A bright yellow aromatic powder obtained from the rhizome of a plant of the ginger family. Used for flavouring and colouring in Asian cooking and formerly as a fabric dye. Why on earth would I want that? Do I look like a chef? <laughs> this one everybody gets. DHL. Your package number blah 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 could not be delivered. Check now. Yeah, please, please don't ever fall for this one. This one is like a popular one. And it's not just DHL, it's other delivery companies too. They claim that they can't deliver a package and then they send you an email saying you've got to click on this link to redo it and they're gonna charge you. Yeah, it's a load of hokum, just ignore them. And if in doubt, go on the proper website and look for the phone number and ring them. I've done, why have I done that twice? I've done another Netflix. Oh, this one says, we sent confirmation for update, reset, passcode, Mumbre? What? M-U-M-B-R-E. I think they were trying to say number. I think. That's probably why I kept that one, because of that. Anyway. <laughs> Once again, Apple ID. I don't have Apple ID. The only Apple product I've ever had was an iPod. And on my computer, this one, I've got iTunes. That's it. I don't have a, an Apple Mac, I don't have an iPhone, or anything like that. So I don't need an Apple ID. But apparently it's a reminder alert and it says the latest Nautic announcement. Nautic? What? N-O-T-I-C. Notice? Without the E? This is what makes me laugh about people who send out spam emails. They think they're really, really clever but they can't spell. That's how thick they are. Last reminder. Oh no, very urgent for me. This is a confirmation of your unsubscribe request ID. For what? <laughs> I'm just gonna have a little peek onto that one. You have requests to stop receiving our emails, cash, debt, finance. For what? Thank you, support team. PO Box. Honolulu, Hawaii. Yeah. I didn't unsubscribe from it because I don't know what company it is. It doesn't say. And I have never, ever, ever contacted anybody in Hawaii. Who can? Okay, request ID 2586. Thank you for the application. Confirmation is required. For what? It doesn't tell me what it's for and I'm not clicking on it because once again, it'll not even give me a company name. I've got another one from Medium Amanda. What? Email name? <laughs> Don't miss this chance of prosperity. She can't even put my name down. My email name. How is she a medium if she can't even get my email name, even though she sent me the email to my email address? FedEx, your package, this number, what I'm not gonna be bothered to read, not delivered. <sighs> like I said, it's a popular one. Markhachem.com Copy of How are you doing? How are you? This is a copy of the following message you sent to contact name here. <sighs> They're that lazy. 
that they can't even be bothered to put my name in it. Okay, Clean Fur. Is that a company? My husband is always at work and I don't have anyone to caress my body for me. Well, don't ask me. I can't even say your name. And that's not a real name. Clean Fur. Sounds like a product to clean your bath. And the last one says, Harvard says, eat this and poop daily. What? Is your lack of pooping making you feel sick, bloated and annoyed? No, because I don't have that problem. And even if I did, I would not answer that. Huh, I thought I was going to have more than that. And now I'm going to move the laptop out of the way before I knock it over. Like I said earlier, it's likely to happen. I can lean on this stool now. <laughs> I'm being just as lazy as these spam email writers. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. All that's left for me to say is thank you for watching and subscribing if you have, and liking this video if you did. Until the next time, peace out. There was one email that I got twice, my friend he got it a few times as well, that I deleted off my emails a long time ago. In the email they claimed that they activated my camera on my laptop to film me watching porn videos and they recorded it. And if I didn't pay them like 6,000 or 7,000 Bitcoin, they were going to send this video out to all my contacts. First off, activate my camera all you like. It's covered up. Always has been. Second of all, what porn videos? Show me the evidence. And third, again, what on earth is a Bitcoin? I haven't a clue. So even if it was all true, how would I pay with something I don't have? All I can say is after those two emails, I never got any contact from them again. I never paid out. It was all hokum.